Damn, that PL looks pretty good. I like his set. Let's do it. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if he's going to cut back early. Probably not, because I assume he ran a one-minute Twitch ad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, fake MLP. <laughs> upper division how you feeling ah then i'm ready been, been waiting for this man you know uh, upper division begins yesterday was fun it was like a nice little tease to get us ready mm. for this new season with all those lower division games but now we get to see the big dogs of the regions come together and uh, what a better way to start in na than finally seeing eg with a full roster uh against uh, one of the teams who has been playing a lot during uh the quarantine and everything in the four zoomers so uh, i'm sure they've been awaiting this match for a long time and have lots of plans to put into place Totally. A lot of big ideas, a lot of uh, things to prove, I would say, for EG as well, uh, as Zoomers have kind of taken over the region along with Quincy Crew, but now they're back, they're ready to play, and Abed kind of getting ganked here. Five people run into him, they jump right at the start, and well, now Coconut's going, the battle of NA has already begun, and it is going to be four Zoomers that draw first blood. All right, well, in NA, though, that means uh, they are victorious. Uh, someone's probably going to DC, you know, welcome to our region. Uh, this tends to be enough in the pubs, but uh, they're going to have to try a little bit harder for the full win here as uh, Husky, he uh, he gets a little half deny on that. I don't know if he was like super confident and was about to kill it, but uh, he's just prepping for the potential perhaps. Yeah, and Crit has already bought a sentry and brought it out, so they're yeah. anticipating that this is coming. Yeah, they know. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we got to deny that thing, guys. And they're prepped for it, ready to go. The battle and we will begins. see as the wolves are going to head on in. Bounty runes will be two, three of them actually going to go to the zoomers. Yeah, oh, yeah I, I think that's exactly the plan. It was just like, yo, Gunner, just kill that thing on your way back. They're going to de ward it. Don't give them the free gold. So, got the kill with the ward and make sure that the, the opponents don't benefit from it as well. Mm hmm. Uh, as of now, at least, we're seeing Crit that's heading down bottom, still hanging on to that sentry. So he might not even go over and do it if he uh, caught an inkling that that's something that they could go for. Um, we can take a look real quickly here. Ice Ice Ice, obviously making his debut, going to be playing uh, Lycan, switching over and taking over for the Lycan. Um, man, Knoxville was so ready with the Arteezy stat, and then they switched it on him. <laughs> he was very disappointed. <laughs> yeah. That much I can hang on East. I'm pretty sure Crit's still here. Judging by my ping investigation here, here, ladies and gentlemen i'm a bit of a sleuth what can i say but uh, i mean that was kind of the uh, the rumor going around anyway and uh i'm sure their opponents are well aware of that but that just means you know crit gets uh, the excuses and then all the praise when he actually hits stuff you see it's a, a win-win other than actually winning the game that part is a little bit harder it's but a little Crit's, bit tougher he's so used to it man the guy's been playing na uh you know and like fpl all that kind of stuff all the in-houses for years so it's his usual. True enough. Uh, and you can see already down here trying to put the hurt onto Husky. Um, I think that at this point, a lot of people that watch NA Dota have sort of become accustomed to these players uh, on four Zoomers. But those that have kind of been missing in action a little bit, uh, they really have taken over the, the region in a lot of ways. I think in a lot of people's hearts as well. Um, you know, Sunspan was talking about Brax and the way that he's been captaining these guys and uh, sort of building them up all together. They're incredibly talented players. Uh, and, I, you know, I want to see how they do against the best teams of the region because we talked about it earlier that this team is basically not played together evil geniuses is a full squad in forever it's been a long time yeah just so many issues uh because of covid between like abed being on the other side of the world and everything and then obviously now we've got uh isis ice this is his first game ever um with yeah. the squad no, 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 no. so this is uh a new fresh reborn eg looking to uh retake their place as uh, the top team in na and uh so far everything's still holding together two minutes into the game guys so it hasn't fallen apart quite yet Jeez, <laughs> yeah, something to watch for, definitely. Saw there a, a little bit of an attempt of a go onto Braxer. He's actually going to try and spin him down now. Only level one spin, and he does have fairy fire and a stick, so it won't be enough for a kill. And in the meantime, Ocean connects this little side pole. So lane shenanigans going on. There's some weird stuff happening right here. As Fly's going to come over and try and contest this. Um, yeah, he's got to be careful. Yeah, contesting with no heal too, and now there's no spin as well. So it's just like a little bit dicey. But, I mean, RTZ had full mana, so I like the use of the spin as well, right? I mean, yeah. getting use of those uh, resources. Enough. And then those creeps will make their way back to the uh, the tower eventually. It's fly, we drop them low. Tree is cut, though, so... Oh, and Brax was, like, 10 mana shy as well. Mm. He tried to stick up for it, but he didn't have enough. 
and using a lot of those abilities just to try and help out with CSing and pushing back or teasing them when he can. Another coconut's gonna fly out, does not manage to bounce through. I couldn't get in range for the level two Maledict. So again, a uh, little bit of a, a contentious moment early on here. And uh, God, Shaman, man, he's got those big arms, right? It's just like, uh, it's like fly, really. I mean, crits, I'm sure, working on them too, but uh, the one shot easy on that courier down bottom. Dude, I don't know what you're talking about. He has tiny arms. They look like little sticks. Well, I don't know. He hits for 83, so they got to be pretty huge. That's fair. Good Another spin up top with the Maldick. That's an easy one. Well played. Uh, it does leave Brax open for a little bit of solo XP so. for a moment here, but yeah, it's a, it's a, a danger of this very aggressive uh, potential lane, at least, with the Witch Doctor and the Jug together, uh, particularly when they hit that level 3 mark. Now, mind you, because he has no boots, of course, Ocean has a full urn done, and he wants to come mid and try and get a kill, but I think... Oh, wait, no, he hits! Man, that was Ooh. long range, but not enough for the kill. Obviously wanting it pretty bad to get that urn off to a good start, but uh, not able to get it and doesn't uh, secure a rune up top either as Crit found the DD on the bot spot. And up top again, they found themselves a quick little opening here onto Brax. Maledict is there, a spear to push back with a fairy fire and everything else. I'm not sure if it's quite going to be I, enough. I think he's dead. Yeah, that's looking pretty uh, bleak there. And, and the best thing throws. that Fly did there was he freehanded the Maledict. He didn't try to do like the coconut into the Maledict or else they wouldn't have enough damage. They needed that additional damage from the coconut too. So well done by him. Very well played. Well, coming up now on the five minute mark, uh, seven previous games between them and they've all been uh, four zoomers ahead, five and two. I mean, again, this is what we've been talking about of, of, of a couple of different mixtures of rocksters that are playing mm -hmm. in. And this one feels like it's uh, not that the others weren't real, but a little bit more weight to it. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, the uh, the special shackle there, that frog tongue, if you're being a little confused by the green, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to help take down Husky. Oh, burned a raindrop too. Nice. To see, and, uh, though they did get the bounty runes split off uh, three to one previously, it does look like uh, EG were able to pick up two this next time as well. Uh, so a trade off even that time, and, and a very quiet mid lane through all this too, right? Like I mean, these are two heroes that we're expecting to start making quite a few rotations. I mean, sure, Abed needs a little bit. He wants the bots. He wants to hit up the jungle and everything. But we got Lasso and we got uh, Quaswex Invokers, so. The fact that they're not, like, really killing each other in lane is just a cementing decent farm for the two of them that they're going to try and uh, take elsewhere on the map. True. Abed going to come over here, farm up the wave, and also this small camp. Ocean has made the rotation to try and secure this rune, and it's actually going to spawn bottom uh, where it's a regen. So that is going to be uh, a waste for the moment. No chance for any, like, haste kill rune or anything. But as you said, very even. Very slow. Rotation down bottom from Ocean. Can they do anything here? He's thinking, he's looking at the damage and he's like, oh, I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe with one more Q and the PL. Oh, he went for it. Yeah, he misses there, but it might still be enough. With the two points up in Lance, it will. And Ocean fills up his earn charge. Yeah, just the vision was enough to help make sure they could get close. So well done there. All right. Yeah, so uh, a couple of rotations, but by and large, these lanes looking relatively even for Zoomers, uh, a very slight lead, nothing to write home about. Um, he talked a little bit about rotations. Batrider oftentimes we've been seeing those boots of travel being rushed. Uh, is it just sort of AFK farm time until some of those items come up? Yeah, unfortunately, you don't get to do the ancient <laughs> stuff anymore. Uh, it's not uh, that got nerfed. I'm sure you right. guys saw that with Batrider like popping off in the pubs by just farming ancients constantly. They uh, they they reduced the that aspect of Batrider at the moment, but uh, it's okay because he's got a Lycan. He'll be happy to I'm sure take some of those ancients as well, even if he's an off lane hero. Um, speaking of which, that is where he's spending a lot of his time right now for, for Eyes of the Ice, right? Goes down. He's like, yeah, I'm just gonna go to the jungle. Crit, if you want to get some XP, that, that's fine by me. Crit though, level three and no boots, so he cannot get too close down here. Yeah, it's a danger town for sure. And you can see definitely respecting it. Uh, they have a deep ward as well, which can sort of scout this movement. Ooh, if they can make this work though, with the smoke up and an attempt onto Abed, the roll in, he might just be dead. Chase down comes through. TPs are gonna be a bit too late. They will lose Ocean for it. Uh, so no extra earn charge. And wow, Husky trying to live, but no, he also will go. So good rotation from Fly uh, to at least get some uh, 
return kills there, but it's the invoker that cures the extra Dyer's XP for the Batrider kill. Yeah, and as long as either uh, Gunner or Ocean stay alive, someone's getting earn charges, right? So <laughs> there you go. we're going to be okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. I didn't notice that one before. I think it's okay with those two heroes. It's just a little bit too core for each of them, right? With like how good it is with Cold Snap, you don't really have a choice. And I mean, you're an Earth Spirit. Like, I don't know. I don't blame him for going for it. I want my urn. True enough. So, Ice, uh, though, not level six yet. He, you gotta imagine he's feeling a little vulnerable. Like, I would be trying to get this kill right now if I was the Zoomers. And that's why Ice is just heading back out. Like, can't contest it all down here. And up top, they tried to make a go onto Brax with our TZ. Popped the arena, the rotation came from Gunner, and then a quick run away. So uh, that will not result in any kill for the Invoker this time oh, around. Speaking of kills, you know, Fly's 3 0 and 1 right now, and he's level 6. That's wild. Yeah, he's having a great game so far. He's got Tranquil Boots, he's nice and speedy. Boots are always uh, a tough one on Witch Doctor, I feel, because like the Arcanes benefit you so much, but I, I really like the Tranquils here just for that movement speed. Uh, yeah. Whenever you play a lot of supports with Tranquils and then you go to purchasing like some other item, especially all because like most fives buy Tranquils, uh, it, you just feel so fast when you when you have Tranquils and so slow when you buy Arcanes for a hero. And I can't stand it anymore. Tranquils are kind of busted still. So. You can also get that extra Windlace on top of it if you want. Then you're really oh yeah, oh yeah. Just keep building Windlace items. That's the play. <laughs> uh, wolves are scouting out Gunner here. This is the value that you need to get. Out oh, of the lake and in the off lane. Yeah, they turn that into work. Can't get him. Uh, they are spinning up top though. It's easy. Ooh, TP's out. Manages to escape. Um, but I, I, I was saying that I feel like you you need to get some value. Either it's like scouting or you know sort of survivability items or something out of the lichen in the off lane. It feels like because uh, you're you're kind of losing uh, either you know crowd control or some of those normal things that other off laners bring you. Uh, yeah, you're, you're playing it out of the off lane. I think when you're running this off lane, you you want like a puck or maybe an ember or a bat rider um, in the mid right to to try and use the like off laner role essentially. Yeah. You're basically just like handing off some of the mid laner responsibilities to your off lane in these cases, and then you swap some of that uh, control to the mid instead. And you can see Ice already. I mean, Ice notorious for the scouting of his Broodmother spiders. That was always one of like, the best things to watch from him, and he's doing the same thing under the tower now with this wolf. Just going left and right, patrolling for something coming in. Brack misses the arena. Can't quite connect. They do get the spear through. Chain Frost bouncing back and forth. Now Ice is Ice so freaking low and will end up falling to Husky. It's the last little touch there onto him. Dyer's but now with the rest of EG in the area, they pop the dust. Going to try and chase down Gunner. Lazo, the buyback coming from Husky now. Trying to salvage this one if they can. Ocean doesn't have level six, but gets a good silence out there. Abed taking some more of that damage slowly and steadily. Crit also the coconut bounces. Oh, look at Fly. Fly the winner. Comes on in and takes him down again. Can they That's dominating fly. Give him another one. <laughs> Why not? Holy moly. Ahmed gets the triple, but fly with big guns. Man. What a poor start to that fight there. Just narrowly able to escape from the arena. The, the wolf, even outside of his wolf form, was fast enough to get outside of it. Perhaps Brax just, uh, I mean, getting a little greedy on the one hand, but also it's just like such a short cast range at this point in the game trying to uh, to get that like him when he is uh, just that far away from you. A little bit tough. Oh, that hurt. At least they got the kill with the Chain Frost, though. They did Dyer's manage to bounce over to the Lycan. True. Yeah, and, and I mean, at the end of the day, when, when Abed's just free to sort of drop down some sticky napalm onto people and you don't really have anywhere else to hide, uh, you're, you're going to have a bad time. Um, so they lose the bottom tier one tower. The top tier one tower went down at the same time, and Sammy Boy uh, was also able to get some damage onto that mid tier one. So. And he's very farmed right now. He's, he's quite a bit ahead of Arteezy at the moment. Right. So they, they're definitely going to be looking to make plays with him right now with his defusal. Obviously, a pretty big spike for the PL, and they don't want to lean back at all while they have this. Dyer's middle tower. That was nice. Definitely picking up the tier one tower mid. You know, even when uh, the fight goes poorly, it's a sign of a good team when you're able to take objectives around the rest of the map at the same uh, moment. Yeah, and they have a situation now where Abed's gone for the, the safer build by going from the bots into VKB. This is very standard. You see it a lot. Um, it does make it harder to execute these ganks like they're going for right now with the smoke. But as long as you keep landing ganks and getting kills without that blink dagger, getting towards you, that BKB just gives you such a strong presence around that first rush timing. But again, the ganks are now harder, right? Because their initiation's relatively weak. 
You know, like they kind of need a lucky fly down situation like Abed's going for right now, where he's just going to pop into the trees and grab Gunner. And there you go. Nice bounce, man. Oh, I don't need a blink dagger. That was really well played. Yeah, great pick up there. Uh, and you could see Ocean was sort of prepared for the gank to be coming down bottom since Artizi showed in the lane there, but instead they make that rotation mid, uh, find the kill, and, and you know, they, they need these levels on the supports. Uh, Ocean was still level four just oh, a little man. while ago. That was such a good see? play. <laughs> yeah, that was really nice. Like, with Ice is Nice being right there at the river, like, great coordination there from EG. The tower is just instantaneously gone. There's no chance to respond uh, from this PL. He comes in to clean up some of the wards, but... Uh, that's all they're going to get is compensation. Actually, it was kind of filthy, though. Just top stop. It <laughs> really was. Wards in. <laughs> Just maul tops them from the river into a lasso. That was well played. So 2,000 gold lead now. Gunner queuing up that BKB next. Maybe a sign of where Zoomers feel like this game needs to go. It's going to become one of those brawly battles that we've seen so often. Uh, trying to get the, into a blink dagger right now for Mr. Mars as well. Yeah, I'm curious how Brax wants to play this next little time period. Like right now, he's kind of camping around Gunner. Like, does he want to smoke up with the Lich? And may maybe they're going to smoke and go south and try and catch someone. Because the arena's ready and you don't really want to be sitting back on this if you feel like um, you're trying to get kills with the PL right now. They're set up down uh, in the bottom lane. It looks like EG trying to put themselves in a position to pressure this tower with it, Ice This is ice. not good for an Earth Spirit, though, right? It's like it's good if the team's going to rotate Dyer's for a kill, but he can't hold this tower. So his team has no real threat on the Tier 2 in the top lane because the, the pressure that EG can put on is obviously much stronger and much faster um, than you're capable of. Ooh, a little dookie duke outside of the map and then comes back in. I mean, he's somewhat... Hold I guess the thing is, is like, EG isn't wanting to heavily commit to that Tier 2 yet, it feels like. Uh, maybe that's going to change over the next couple of minutes or something, but... Yeah, they don't have to. It's kind of like, you you need to hold someone down here, and your lane push is really bad. Really so no one is really farming fort. these creeps that Ice is at, right? Like, yeah. he's benefiting from the creeps coming into the lane, but Ocean is essentially too scared to go close. The tower just, like, wipes most of it. He can't get the last hits. Uh, and they're never concerned about a similar take on the top tier two because they're going to have a response in time because the push is slower for the four zoomers. So this feels like it's just a winning situation right now from EG, which puts the pressure on the smoke now uh, mm. that gets popped by Abed. And oh, they got the arena. OK, Spear comes in afterwards. That might be enough here as Husky moves in, throws out the chase ball. But they have the healing ward up oh on the high so ground. Tanky. Tries to get him away. And with the healing ward, it might be enough. No, they get the kill. Look what they are. The Husky splash now stuck on the the high ground. Arteezy gets the double kill, and will they lose some here, though? All right, Sammy making the move. Takes down Arteezy with Ocean. Comboing okay. together. That worked well. I mean, the bat living that long was shocking, but the most shocking thing was that Arteezy actually wound up on the, the bottom. He did not <laughs> wind up on the cliff after <laughs> Omni slashing two people. That's like the first time in his career that's ever happened. He actually got the good RNG for once, and then he gets killed for it. Dude, he might have lived up there. New DPC, new or tour. That's, that's what we're seeing here. Well, either way, it's uh, the mop and bucket. Phantom Lancer and his friends coming through to clean up in aisle three. And uh, that, that lead is still, like, it's keeping around that 2K level for EG, right? They keep growing a little bit of 3K, and then it falls back down. Uh, and Sammy Boy continues to hold that top spot in the game. Uh, unfortunately, his other heroes are falling a little bit behind. True. Yeah, there, there, there's a bit of a gap that exists there. Um, and it, it does kind of feel like they, they need a, a, a big win where Gunner stays alive. As you can see, Gunner, 38 games uh, on Invoker, his second most played hero. Is the, the wards drop down mid for Brax, but Oof. not not a humongous hero pool there, as uh, Nox was pointing out for Gunner. So, you know, there's a reason he's like 25 plus or whatever on Dota Plus on the Invoker. The guy likes to play it. Well, you know. I think that uh, that's something that you're going to see more and more often with these these rosters that are, uh, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say like incredibly new, but relatively new. They're, they're, they're a bunch of young guns. They need some time together. If you're a 30, what is it, Grandmaster now? Feel free to flex in the chat. I feel like you've earned it at this point. I've run into a couple so far, and your dedication to Dota is impressive. So well done, any of you level 30s out there. I applaud you. Don't let the opponents flaming you take anything away from you. It's okay. It's okay to love one hero that much. <laughs> Unless it's seconds. That's then, actually then it's okay. just bad. It's really not good. It's not worthwhile. I feel like the techies players might even agree with that. I don't even think they're going to fight me on that. They'd be like, yeah, okay.
Well, the thing is, is that they'd say everybody else is playing it wrong. They know the true way. Nah, nah, you know. Guys, Tegas is really fun. Trust me. Oh, man. Oh, wait, wait, admin. Admin. <laughs> All right, they have the healing ward down, still outside of sentry range here, but they do bring in those necros. Although the other one is... The true sight's a thousand. Okay, he gets the stun to open. It's on to Juggernaut now. Brax gets the blink away as Abed's gonna make the TP rotation. Now a fight a little bit further to the north. Ocean and Gunner trying to get set up on this. They have a ward up on the high ground. They weren't able to get the D ward. Fly takes it away now, so that removes some of their vision. Fly gonna get beaten down a bit and looking for more here as they try and chase down Abed. Oh no, he doesn't have TP. Okay, but he does have Bull Whip, and that makes him fast. Oh, wow, what an item. <laughs> Jeez, some heroes, man. Yeah. Percent bonuses are some scary stuff. But they got ice. Back in the mid, they get the roll in, and that will be a pushback and a kill. And are they going in towards uh, somewhere else? Well, I think he's sticking on the tower bottom. So that's kind of the sacrifice here. Uh, he has spin up. Is he not just going to pressure? Yeah, okay. He's just chilling with crit, but uh, good choice here from the zoomers. I, I like going right into the Roche pit. Yeah, this tower was basically dead anyways. Crit actually going to commit the wards fully for this one. Um, but, uh, that, that's getting pinged in a, in a pub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. So why, why did you do that? Now Roche still low, but not quite fully dead. They, they've got to be really careful about this opening. Yeah, yeah Husky's just feeding. Um, well, he's got Chain Frost available. Not to throw it, but gets burned to death. Sammy Boy in very, very low. The Chain Frost cold step is enough. They're able to get the ro Roche now. Aegis on to Sammy. They're going to throw Alacrity onto one of the creeps, but they know which one's real here. Abed, BKB dropping low. Sammy trying to escape. Arteezy is right on top of him. Has Omni Slash out. Doppelganger and able to escape. No more mana on our tour. Gunner thinks about going back in. Now the roll in. Good hit from Ocean Magnetize. Oh, the Magnetize. The slow is there as well. Can they kill them what all off? Kick. Fly tries to escape. And Ocean's really going in. Look how low he is. Look at him go. He's insane. This guy's nuts. Ice 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 is going to be chased down afterwards as Sammy and Gunner are on his case. They're going to kill Ice 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 and maintain the Aegis. Unreal. I, I want to know if that alacrity was intentional or just like spam clicking onto the the PL because that was pretty crafty. Yeah, putting alacrity on one of the illusions. N nicely done. Damn it! This is just silly. wow. Well, what a freaking huge win there for uh, the Zoomers. Interestingly enough, though, it's still a three thousand gold lead for EG right now. Yeah, they did keep the Aegis though, so it wasn't lost in all the scuffle. Thus, meaning that they likely have a good shot at the tier twos. It is past twenty minutes, so it's not like this giant objective anymore, of course, but. Uh, still something to look for as Brax drops a little bit too low from the burn before the reinforcements can get through. There is a Yule though on the ocean. He just needs to get... All right. Ah, there's the BKB. Well played. They secure that one. Yeah, they use Lasso for that. Uh, another one of those flame break and then the uh, Lasso combos coming out from Abed. We do have to watch for that now, though, because there's the basher on the uh, PL. So it is mm. not free BKB uh, or spin TP territory anymore. Doing up the heart afterwards, so this is just feels like explicitly for the purpose of uh, you know getting that chance of breaking that spin TP. Um, yeah, tank up afterwards. If you were waiting for the DPC to really start playing Dota again or watching Dota, you might be wondering, oh, I thought Heart was bad. Um, heart has been changed as well. It's basically just been buffed like crazy, and Satanic's been nerfed. That, that's the main thing. Um, Satanic pretty much covered everything that you needed out of Heart and was just a little bit better, but uh, Satanic's no longer this like end all be all option for a lot of these carries that want to like stick in the fight since it lost mm. the status resistance. True. Didn't get a damage buff in the B patch though, so it's got something going for it now. Uh, you take so much away. Is it really gaining something new? Dyer, like, you that? <laughs> it's just Dota, man, you know? Yeah, that's true. All right, well, still a very slight lead, but the smoke is going to break now. Finding Abed yet again will roll right on top of where he was. And that is going to uh, sell the end of the aggression, at least for now. But you can see Zoomers feeling more confident uh, about taking over the control of this map and trying to put the... Put the screws to EG Dyer's if possible. Yeah, attack. it feels like they gotta do something a little bit more though. They only have two more minutes left on this Aegis, and this feels like a good opportunity to try and uh, even this game out a little bit more, and they're they're kind of struggling to find it right now. Like, they're the ones who are getting picked apart and uh, TP'd uh, away from and everything. Dyer's but I do like that pressure into the uh, bottom triangle, as you said, because that will put a dent in the GPM of EG right now. They're still maintaining it to some extent, uh, but you can tell it's, uh, it's a pretty... 
pretty contentious moment here for evil geniuses. How are they going to sort of hold out against this aggression? Mm -hmm. uh, do they just sort of like give up half the map? It's what it feels like uh, at this point now. And well, you can see that this is going to allow Zoomers to move on in, take down the tier two tower and likely take over the outposts as well. Dyer's top tower. Yeah, EG have similar thoughts though. They're just circling down here like, yeah, we, we have the ward. Let's go take the outpost, farm this up for now. But uh, Zoomers don't want to hand that over to them. Dyer's top Ooh, tower. I like this play. Attack. Sammy still feeling very uh, strong at the moment and a minute left Look on Aegis. The back line, man. They're so far away from Sammy Boy. They were like hiding in the trees, worried about a potential smoke gank coming up from uh, the mid lane. We'll take out another round of those Necro books. And now the movement comes back towards mid. See if they can find somebody on the opposite side of the map. Uh, for evil geniuses, I mean, what, what's sort of the play now? We're, we got an Aghanim Scepter coming out for the Lycan. Yeah. So we, we got some wolf fighting going on. Ooh, this, is, uh, this is quite the strat here. I, I've seen some really cool heroes with this. Like the Spectre one was pretty funny. Jug seems pretty legit though, right? 30% yeah. lifesteal, uh, and he's going for the uh, the spin shard as well, which uh, we see a lot now from Jugs, especially for sieging, when you're trying to take the high ground. And if they don't have really good options versus your spin, then you'll see a lot of Juggernauts basically just use it to spin up, hit the tower, uh, and escape. Each blow sharpens our blade. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. One thing I'm the curious about is if, if he gives it to Abed for just like the movement to yes, pull somebody I, I out. I think he probably will. I was... <laughs> that's also sounds amazing. <laughs> All right, I you oh know this God. is how fast is a bull whip bat with wolf bite? I have no idea. It's exactly. absurdly fast. It's 650 though. plus. Oh my God, he's so fast. Yeah. I mean, he's already so fast. What the hell? I mean, what's the cooldown of wolf bite though? 80 seconds. So you can't really waste it on bat necessarily. Well, I mean, last those 115 seconds. Well, no, I just mean like you know, because you can't like bite both of them. You know. Oh right, of course. Good point. I, it's interesting though, right? Because when we were talking about what you need from this offlaner that's sort of not traditionally seen in that position, one of the things that came to mind was like, all right, well, maybe he could just buff people up and this is a way to do it. Um, make them impossibly hard to deal with. They're gonna see that Aghanim Scepter on him now and they won't see Abed over in the trees who's still hiding away here, ready to go at a moment's notice. He's gonna pop out the Firefly there. BKB immediately popped from Gunner. You can't blame him. The guy has yeah. blink, and it's just like, you know, if he doesn't get that off, he's probably just dead. True. Well, that is uh, a BKB that they won't have for this next engagement if it comes up now. A minute and a half until Roche is back up again. Ugh. I remember uh, one of the comments Insania made during uh, Epic League was that he hoped in the new patch there was, like, less gold. I can't believe this does not feel like 26 minutes of farm on a lot of heroes. Wait, I don't think that changed in our patch. Everyone feels very farmed right now. Yeah, it's definitely true. Particularly PL. 18,000 gold net worth. He already has that heart completed, and they're going to move up towards high ground. Drop the wards here, and Abed is ready to go with a haste rune. No BKB right now. On to They pinged them. Yeah, yeah they, they, they know what's up. <laughs> yeah, we see you. Hello. <laughs> yeah. You're not clever. Get away from our base. It's a lot of damage, though. This is annoying to deal with. That well, they just have so much it. threat when they drop the snakes. It's like, okay, yeah, come on in. Let's see if we're just gonna like hop up and, uh, and lasso you. But uh, they will smoke on the high ground. They dropped a sentry just to ensure there wasn't an OBS left behind. And they're gonna start the push out with the illusions. Uh, by the vision of EG, this isn't like that obvious. In fact, I even, you can see where they scan too. Mm. Apparently, they think zoomers are really fast. They, they zoom, but they, they, they're not quite there yet, you know. And they're playing around their other ward on EG here, anticipating that this could be the move instead afterwards. Yeah. Uh, as Artiz is going to group back it's, together with them. It's your classic smoke out. When the other lanes are pushed and you have yeah. some way to just like send it out, you just like try and chase them, right? You hope that they're splitting up the farm or something. But uh, yeah, this is the, uh, the stay together. And this is the cool thing that you can do with Lycan as well. This bottom lane, it's going to be pressured in constantly by these wolves. It's going to be pressured in by the Necro books. And then he can be with the rest of his team ready to fight at a moment's notice. And eventually, Zoomers are going to have to come back and deal with this because the tower is already down to pretty low HP. 
Yeah, Kyle was talking today actually about how uh, when he played with Fly, one of the first things Fly talked about was this idea of just like, if you control two lanes and the triangle, you're not losing. As long as you are farming two lanes and the triangle, they can't be farming more than you are. So don't don't panic, just and always stay as five so you don't throw the game. And you can see that pretty clearly right now from how they're playing. Yeah. They don't want to chuck away this lead. They, they essentially are just waiting for Zoomers to be the ones to make the first move and the first mistake. Well, and we uh, do have the armor drop down. Husky trying to hold off on this one with the rest of EG right behind him. Could come out in a moment's notice. Mention real quick, I kind of like this. Uh, Fly has decided to invest into the Holy Locket, so he's just keeping that. Uh, ready with the 20 charges to heal somebody back up. I feel like it's one of the heroes that we've sort of seen it get picked up on a few times. I kind of like it. Yeah, I guess just feeling like there's not enough swimmer value in this game. I know it's very, uh, still pretty expensive. 2,500 gold. I'm not, I'm not super sold on. I've seen it buy it a couple times though. I think Puppy's Radiant's bought it on Witch Doctor too. Has fallen. Well, they take the tower again. Uh, this is not as bad as it used to be, since there aren't shrines, but... <laughs> he could be a, a death boy. Why are you buying Holy Lock? This would never happen in a pub. <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah. I want to be a death ward. Keep you alive longer. You know, that spear is coming right for your head? Death ward! <laughs> I do like the little aura it gives to people, though, as well, along the time. And, you know, it's a nice little burst heal. I like to see it occasionally. Regardless, well, it's nice to see the item at least purchased. We'll see if it uh, has any impact. That's for sure. True. Uh, just coming up now on 30 minutes. Each team holds one of the outposts and EG moving uh, to try and claim the top one. If they can get top outpost, uh, that would definitely be nice for them here to set up for the next Roche fight that we kind of know is coming. It's a long Roche respawn time here. 35 Dyer's seconds away now. Has been They've been spread for a long time on the Zoomers and clumped for a long time on the side of EG. The XP has slowly been trending back towards the middle over the past, like, second half of the game. But uh, overall, still not a very big gap either way, as uh, the smoke out comes from EG. They were not under any sort of vision when they did this. Some Necros came in the mid. If they're watching mid right now, they would have seen that, but I didn't see any pings, so I don't think they saw the Ether Shock mid. Ooh, Brax, he's going to break the nice smoke blank. there. Oh. Good play. They still managed to find him, though, and now are easy going to try and spin him right on down X. Didn't get a chance to cast anything before he goes oh, down. Max. Can they bring him down? Anybody else is left. Abed stunned for a little moment there, but gets the BKB off. Sammy Boy is the midst of all of them. Trying to bring down Fly. Does get him there with the badge. Trying to chase now. Gunner also trying to open up a little bit here as Arteezy is going to spin down Sammy. Completely dismantle him with that Maledict extra damage out. And now Gunner is going to fall as well. And yeah, oh you God. are wrong, man. Wolf Bite is pretty freaking good on Jug. I was wondering how he died there but he took 732 damage from Maladin. So yeah, that, that'll get you. Very good versus uh, heroes that don't want to buy, uh, well, I guess it's even with DKB, you have some issues with Maladin depending on how things go, but uh, you, you're definitely not gonna be able to dispel that thing, that's for sure. Manta not gonna save you. Jeez. That, I mean, yeah, he did He did a tremendous amount of damage and on just to the particular hero that they needed to, right? Like all the illusions start taking more as well. and. Uh, from then, it was all she wrote. It, it feels like you have to be able to take out Fly uh, without getting that Maledict on him if you want to take that fight, uh, particularly the, on the PL. The biggest problem was that Brax, after getting the nice blink away save, he got greedy and he didn't pop his BKB, which uh, you can't really blame for because he doesn't have like the omni like omniscient vision that we do. And like we knew that the rest of the team was coming through there, but had he BKB, he probably, or at least has a good chance of surviving that lasso and uh, might be able to get something off. Sun strike, healing wards down, tornado's gonna connect on the three, and the roll in coming afterwards with the disarm. Combat's here though as well. Oh, the great arena! Gets on all of them! They're outside and on the wards though. Brax now trying to back away as the chain frost bounces around a few more times. Ocean is being controlled, and will it look pretty? I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Oh, they're coming back though. Yeah, it's true. And I say say it's going to retreat for the moment, picks up a regen rune. And it looks like Sammy Boy is going to be able to clean up these wards and then maybe uh, no head into the fight. pit. Yeah, no wolf fight, no shape shift. This is theirs. Dude, so, jump going down is huge. Yeah, it was expensive uh, buybacks wise, but it was well worth it. He took so much damage from uh, from ours. He also took. Wait, is that actually from Roche? 
Yeah, he, I think. Yeah, he, he took like 2,500 damage from Roche overall. <laughs> I mean, that's counting like with the healing ward and everything, but, but Roche really helped out there amongst that whole uh, situation. And that's Aegis and Cheese now for our Phantom Lancer. I think it did more damage than the rest of the Radiant team, if we're going to be honest. Um, man. Okay, so where are we at now? We've got Aegis and Cheese back on PL, but you can see that it's this big lead for Evil Genius. It's 7,000 gold, and you talked about it, that disparity between all of the EG heroes and the, you know, position two and three that you've got on Zoomers. Yeah, this gold lead doesn't mean a lot right now, though. Okay. Uh, in my opinion, like, it's, it's not a huge deal. The XP lead is a little bit more substantial. It's like 12k, but like... We have Bat and we have Mars, so it's more so about that initial pickoff potential. Like, because they have this giant uh, unit of Sammy. <laughs> like, mm. Sammy Boy is just able to win these fights single handedly if the right pickoff occurs at the start. And this is a good one on the Crip, but the defense is there. Yeah, they got him here in the area, but Zoomers move back in now. Gunner uh, did not tornado. He didn't have it off cooldown yet. Throws it out afterwards. A little bit of a miss there, but they do find Abed. Now trying to get the lasso off and control up Sammy Boy. Oh, the shackles. It's not quite going to be enough as Brax moves in. They take down Crit and going to take down Abed. I was so confused. That was a wolf bit shaman. All right, got cool. it. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering why the Lycan was shackling for a second. Had to use a little bit of brain power there. Maybe this is the value in that Aghanims. Visually a little confusing. Hard to figure out who's doing what. So that starts with a attempted play onto Crit, then moves back onto Ocean, and then in the end it's a Zoomer's victory there. Cutting the lead by about 3k. Uh, and Ocean even almost survived. He just died to the burnout because uh, his Yules was still on CD. Hmm. And now they're trying to pressure again, take down this mid tower. Looks like they're going to get it. In fact, nice. they might get more. He's in trouble. There is no way out of this one for the moment. Still 18 seconds until Shapeshift is back up. So Ice will lose his life. And now three dead. And he's gone for a minute. Like they can maybe even pressure for more here. I would certainly think so. I mean, RTZ can get some damage on that top tower, but I highly doubt they're going to leave mid with uh, the Aegis still being there. And uh, where is that cheese? Okay, it's on Gunner. All right. So Pass can... off to our Invoker. Yeah, at any point, he's going to be able to come back in. Crit. Oh, look. Look at Ocean. He gets the Yule set up on RTZ. They okay. cancel the TP. That's big. This is really big. They can stick around for a lot longer now. No, 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 no. I mean, they canceled um, oh, Sammy. Sammy Boy was TPing back. Got it. Yeah. So they won't be able to do that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think Sammy was looking for an abyssal play onto our TZ, but I'm not sure if Crit cancels his TP or if Sammy Boy just decided that um, sticking mid was more important. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Whatever the case was, still, they take down another tier three tower. So both teams uh, haven't been able to claim a Rax yet, mm -hmm. but they are doing that structural damage that they need. Uh, Aegis, still another two minutes left on it. We'll see what four Zoomers decide to do in that time. Uh, maybe just clean up the rest of the map here and try and put the clamps on the EG. I'm curious if Abed actually finishes up this Radiance. It's generally a very good item versus Phantom Lancer because of the uh, the way the propagation of the illusions works. So, like, therefore, if you're introducing more mischance and, like, less hits are occurring, then he's just going to create less illusions. Right. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a pretty expensive Radiance at this point in the game, too. And again, you're also a bat rider, so the item choices are rather limited after Shiva's. Radiant are scanning. We got a fake back for a moment, and that is going to uh, set up for EG staying deep inside their base. And it looks like Zoomers are going to be content to just farm out their side of the jungle, and they are definitely taking a bit of a lead now. Uh, definitely in terms of that experience, it swung heavily back into their favor and net worth as well. Ooh, Bob it. To jump away. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. So steady for the moment. I think that they're probably going to have to let this Aegis go, uh, most likely. Oh, oh, the Minotaur horn for Sammy Boy. That feels really good this game. Yeah. You've nice. done so much to not buy a BKV, and then that just drops into your neutral item slot. Oh, but then they got a pen edge sword. Okay. I mean, he is an Aegis too, so I'm sure he'd rather just hold that for now while he's Aegis. True. So that's uh, the plus 80 attack range when you're melee. That's really, really nice. Yeah, that's kind of sick. Giving you extra damage as well. That's like uh, a 30% boost. Man, that's a lot of range. That's a good item, man. Oh, wolf bite. They're just going in. 
They're going in. Who are they going to find? Ocean is there. Hex break the start. I've been looking for more. They catch them both. Oh, no. BKB was used, but there is going to be the tornado. BKB comes out afterwards. Misses on the spear. Chain frost. It bounces around, but there's a lot of creeps. No mana on anybody. Oh, God. They're stuck now. There's this world of hurt. Oh, the age just popped. Oh, my God. Wait, he's got Maladith on him. Oh, Sammy. He's in a lot of trouble and gets completely demolished again. Slime makes the play. A couple quick hits there. The coconut bounces, and they all fall. Oh, Timers are good. Damn, That's how dude. you win some Dota Whoa, 2. The, the ganks on the Aegis expiration. Very well done. Uh, that's some upper division Dota right there for you. Dude, who needs mana? They just wow. beat the crap out of them. Also, I NA mapped it. It's a 50% bonus. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> well done. I just had to do it, you know. It's a classic. I can't, I can't save my own self. Radiant's middle probably why he died. I probably misled him. Uh, Butterfly now also here for our cheesy, so the Battle of the Mist that, that completely turned it around. And as you said, timers are good. The Aegis timer uh, matched out perfectly. They still have these wards that are going to secure uh, at least this Rax and trying to make a move for bottom as well. Uh, meanwhile, they also take over the outpost. They're just taking everything away from Zoomers right here. Evil it's genius. Just, it's so strong because you play the fight a certain way with Aegis, right? Yeah. Like you, you throw this PL just out there. Like, yeah, please, please go on our Phantom Lancer. And you kind of let him get chained down a little bit. And then you hear that little music start playing. And you're just like, oh, no. Yeah. Well, we have an issue. Oh, really well played by EG uh, and showing, you know, why this is one of the teams to beat in the region for sure. Radiant's that veteran presence of mind making it happen. And now you're looking down the barrel of two racks down for Zoomers. This is a tough one. Oh, it does finish off the Radiant. So it doesn't get a whole lot easier from here on out. Jeebs. He, he bought out for that, though, huh? That's a little wild. All right, well, Sammy Boy's got his head in the right space, though. It's like, well, this is how I'm going to win this game. Give me oh, the rapier. Gunner. I have seen a lot of rapiers so far this season. Oh, no, Gunner. Oh, he lost his uh, courier there. Oh, wait, no, what? Oh, he missed the pill. Oh, my God. He missed the pill. Nice. On the side of the map. I've never seen that before. Just uh, the power of the turtle. Man, that finishes his Shivas. That's huge. Okay, what are our buybacks? He doesn't have buyback either. Yeah, man, they're crazy. We got we got buyback issues. Who is buyback? It's just Ocean and Fly. Yeah. All right, In the entire play. game. Don't die, guys. 16,000 gold lead. Does not matter if you die. Win a fight, win game. Let's see if EG can do it. Is there anything else that's really changed noticeably? Uh, they just should not be going too aggressive right now. Unless the pick looks free. Right. If it looks free, sometimes it's not always, though. Oh, they're, they're oh, oh yeah, there's a little beacon. Ding, this ding, is, ding, ding. Oh, uh, this is so tempting. Would he do it again? He wants to do oh, it. He's got to do it. He goes in, and there's the lasso. Got him caught. Crit has the control afterwards. The roll in from Ocean, trying to bring him down. Beat KB from Crit, and they're just holding on to him. I think oh, they still. Baby boy, he didn't stand a chance. They now weren't even sure, I think. More. I think they were like, is it real? Is it real? And they, they found it. Um, jump in here coming afterwards. You got two wolves that are trying to take on down Brax, but top tower. it does Something not matter. Top. They're going to secure this tier Radiant's three tower. Top. Sammy out for 80 seconds. Oh, wait, yeah, he's going to kick himself. In. Ooh. Wait, he's going to get buyback here. Oh, that's Ocean good. picks up the bounty room. Is okay. it from the tip? Is that 50? Is that, is that what gave him the buyback from Chris there? It might have been. Oh, the catch! They interrupted right as he went in. Something happened here, and silence on to all of them. Cane Frost gonna bounce around a few times. Sammy, seeing if he can bring down Abed first. I mean, then he's got to it up. again. There's so much damage out. You gotta run away. There's no chance for you to take this. Arteezy gonna try and run him down next. This for a moment. Beat down on to Gunner. Able to get the walk away now. And the end is afterwards, and they found a way he to got kill Mega, Arteezy. Though. He, he was okay. just drawing them back to the fountain. Yeah, he has buyback anyways. Yeah, thanks guys for <laughs> securing that one for me. Very important they got that because that just secures his buyback. But uh, all right, what do you do now? Do, what's our goal like for Sammy Boy after the buyback? Not going to be very close to that rapier now. Roche timer is mid range, still a minute left. Um, theoretically, okay. they can get that now for That's the true. zoomers. And I mean, is there an Aegis or a refresher that really helps? There's sorry, an Agnum's or a refresher that really helps. 
Oh no. They killed a husky with the boots with the uh, Sir? That's unfortunate. That's not wow. great. Wow. He just got destroyed. Yeah, that's not that's not great. These things happen. Uh god, Agonems. Who who would he I mean Invoker be the best? Refresher is nice. Uh Invoker eggs would not hurt, that's for sure. I mean he's not max X or anything, but it's something. You definitely use something, for sure. Uh, I mean, PLs is pretty good. Doesn't feel like it's it's a game changer though necessarily, you know. Like so much of the problems that he's had has just been like staying alive, getting and bursted down. I mean, does that work though? I don't know. I, I feel like I, yeah. I don't know if I've actually seen this one. Okay. Well, regardless, we'll find out what it is in just a moment, and it is an Agonus. Okay. I feel like it's got to be Invoker. Like, if you can find a, a way to sort of set up that Cataclysm, it's just worth it. Yeah. I would tend to agree. Is uh, Ice thinking about the eggs at all or no? Oh, he has it. Yeah, okay. I hadn't yeah. checked him in a little bit. So, the, I've, the wolves, they're running. The, sh the good old shard. I mean, as if Mega Creeps weren't enough to push it in quickly. Um... Oh, yeah, sorry, the shard, yes, my bad. Yeah. But, uh, do, do they appear with a color? Uh, I don't think so, actually. Where are they at? I don't know, they, did he here. just get it? I don't even see one. So he must have. He must have just got it, okay. But unfortunately, they weren't able to abuse the time that Arteezy was dead, partially, I'm sure, because Husky went down there, too, from the, uh, the summon, so well done there by Ice Ice, and, uh, Thus, the Agnums will get passed over to Arteezy. So he still has half duration left on this DD and an Aegis. And he will use that to farm Ancients. And if you look up on the top side of the map, you can see that the wolf is uh, green on ah, the yes. mini-map. There it is. I like how Run slow it runs, because it's I just know. with the creep wave. <laughs> it's got to slow down for a little bit for him now. So 30,000 gold lead now, and Zoomer is trying to get one last hurrah to hold off this pressure that's coming through. It's been relatively close all game long, uh, but that Aegis, uh, you know, expiring fight just completely just... blew it wide open. Um, and EG in firm control now. Yeah, that was a real game ender. It's just like, it's so hard to come back from that. I'm sure both like mentally and, uh, you know, economy wise. True. They need the huge play, and plus, of course, you're just constantly pressured and visible in your own base thanks to the Mega Creeps. Could see one of these, uh, like, in-base smokes, maybe, if they feel like EG are really pressured to go for something, but uh, for now, it's them who are just smoked lurking outside, waiting for the best opportunity. Ward looks unspotted there and gives yeah. the vision for Abed. Just outside of range, and now our tour is going to run in. They do have, at least for a moment, a moment of respite, but Sammy Boy getting beaten down by Arteezy. They pull him back in. Okay, maybe a chance. Control. He's still got the Aegis, though, so even if they manage to kill him off, fight. which they will not, it is going to fall apart. Sammy trying to chase down another one, but the Witch Doctor Ulti hitting directly onto that PL. They take down Chris. Trying to doppelganger get himself out of here, but the maledict damage has done its work, and Arteezy will find the triple kill. Looking for more as the GG has been called. Give this man a goddamn rampage. He wants it real bad, but will be denied, at least for the moment. Yeah, the game ends. Tell him goes sometime.